Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make Mississippi Roast. It's floating all over Facebook and Pinterest. In my crock pot, I've got almost a four pound chuck roast. You can use any kind of roast you want to use. Any kind of cut. We're going to put one Aju gravy mix pack in it. That's that beef. Sprinkle over the top. And that was a one ounce packet. Then we're going to put one ranch packet. And it is a one ounce packet. It can be any brand. Sprinkle that over the top too. We're going to put a whole jar of whole porcini peppers in. If you get the sliced porcini peppers, that's fine. That works too. This is a 12.5 ounce. Now, you don't have to put the whole jar in. You can put 6 to 8 or 10 porcini peppers in like that. But we like the porcini peppers. So, we're going to add the whole jar with its juice and 4 tablespoons of butter. And then we're going to put the lid on. We're going to turn it to low and let it go for about 8 to 9 hours or high for about four or five. The roast is going to put out its juices and it's going to mix with the Aju gravy pack and the ranch pack and it's going to make its own little gravy. Okay, the Mississippi pot roast is done. I took it out and it's so tender it's starting to fall apart on me. It's so easy to come apart in here. And then this is the broth and gravy mix and to thicken it up a little bit, I put some of my thicken up. Or you can do a cornstarch slurry in here. Mix it up and then, then you have wonderful gravy to go with your meal with your roast thick it up thickens quickly but if you do like a cornstarch slurry in here you would have to wait probably about 30 minutes for it 15 to 30 minutes for it to start thickening up so there you have it mississippi pot roast with its gravy you can serve it with any kind of sides mashed potatoes a veggie whatever you want to and this makes wonderful pot roast sandwiches 